guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well and having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world so today girlies we are going to do a glam makeup look now i'm not a professional but i'm going to try my best and get as glammed up as we can because it's been a while and yeah i thought it'll be a nice little something different for you guys to see so if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe leave a comment down below and give this a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel thank you thank you for tuning in and subscribing i am so grateful we are on a journey of going to hopefully 500 subscribers by the end of august which is the plan so if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to do that I've already mentioned that, haven't I? So yeah, all that's left to do now is get into the video, sit back, relax, get that cuppa or your favourite, whatever you like to drink. I've got my, my water and uh, let's get started. So I'm going to start off by just tying my hair back because it's quite warm in here today. Sun is bright and I've not long done my exercises. So yeah, let's get into this and let me know guys how you are enjoying my vloggers videos where i am uploading a video every single day throughout the whole of august is it a challenge oh my gosh yes it is but getting a little bit organized so hopefully it'll be a breeze and before we know it it'll be the end of august so yeah right then let's get started I'm gonna go in with the hydrating watermelon burst hydrating primer from Seattle london i was highly recommended with this primer so i'm gonna give it a try I love how it's got the black bits in. I wonder how that's gonna go. Oh. Oh, it's actually quite nice and fresh. It was a bit like a jelly form. Quite nice. So I'm just gonna put that there. Let's take my mirror out. Okay, so we've done the primer. I'm gonna then go in with the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation from Revolution. <sighs> right there, okay. So I've gone in with the primer now and it feels really nice and feel, my face feels a bit tacky with it, which is I think a good thing so that the foundation will sit nicely. Okay, so we're gonna go in using the Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation from Revolution. Oh, I forgot to shake it. Oh well doing this on the wrong hand because I've put lipstick on that hand so we just apply a flat kabuki brush from Brush Junkie which by the way they are having a 65% sale on their brushes set so they are trying to get rid of all the stock so go ahead I'll leave all the details down below go ahead and go and check out their website because it's absolutely amazing and the brushes are fab my brushes need cleaning because i can see brush marks all over my foundation a bit more on oh. there's a silly little wasp and it just doesn't want to disappear i've been sat outside the room for about half an hour trying to get rid of this wasp and he won't go and i was just like i need to start recording otherwise my day's gonna go i'm not gonna get anything done it looks quite pale on the screen but actually it is a good match i'm just gonna get a blending bird and just blend this out it actually sat quite nicely under the primer okay that's that I've done my 150 steps for the hour. That's great. I haven't stopped today to be honest with you. Right then, we're gonna go in with some concealer under the eyes. I'm gonna go slightly more in, make the nose look a little bit slimmer. And I'm going in with the Super Size Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer from Revolution again. arms are aching from the from my workout today okay then we're gonna go in with the Too Faced translucent powder the born this way e ethereal setting powder from translucent there you go i got this a big my big guy beauty box this month so let's give it a try and then let's use this and i'm just gonna apply it under the eyes we're gonna do some baking today we are proper going glam <laughs> Okay, we should leave that to settle for a while. And we'll start on the eyes, okay? Starting to warm up in here now. Whew. 
Okay, so we're going to go in using the Expectation palette from XX Revolution. I love this and we're going to go for a very pinky, pinky look today. Glamorous look. As I'm sorry about if you can hear all the noises, I've got the, wind the doors open, the windows open because it is warm. Everyone's out and about in their garden. <laughs> started out with this shade right here I don't know what the name of it is because it hasn't got the name and there's no numbers or either so it's just on the top right of the palette <laughs> I'm going to go into the crease and just on the outer edge as well to give this some depth. Okay, lovely jubbly. Oh it's getting warm, it's getting warm, it's getting warm. Mind over matter, it's not warm. Okay, then I was thinking going in with this gorgeous colour here. So it's like a two-tone, it's got like a pink metallic and then like got a lilac in there as well. So we'll go in with that all over the lid and go in using my finger. <laughs> smoky out I'm going with a darker shade which is here so it's like a brownie like a brownie burgundy <laughs> get rid of all this i think translucent powder dries me out and i've got normal skin and it's actually drying me out oh my Back is killing. Okay. And then we're gonna go in with going with this shade here and put it in the corner of the tear duct. <laughs> what do you want? Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. He's so sweet. He's so random. He'll just come throughout the day and just come and give me a kiss on the cheek. Thin brush, go in with the same shade I just did in the tear in the corner and just apply. Okay, and then I'm just going to apply some mascara and then we're going to put some lashes on guys it's been a while since i've put lashes on so i'm just going in with the spectrum mascara coat the lashes without getting it on your eyeshadow great blend that out right then okay guys i'm just gonna go offline and put the lashes on and i'll be right back okay guys i'm back i've put my lashes on what are we thinking and i've also gone ahead and done my eyeliner because you know what i'm like i don't like doing my eyeliner on a video or on on lies or anything so we're just going to finish off touching up the um eyeshadow i'm just going to go back in and blend that out okay and then i'm just going to take whatever's on this brush and go down below and blend that out go in with a bit of purple as well here okay and then we will finish off the eyes by putting the last coat at the bottom these lashes are long they are really long, but I love them. Right then, so eyes are done. Now let's get some bronzer on. Going in with the sculpting bronzer from Revolution Pro. You know I love this. <laughs> That's my one. Better. Too far down there. hairline get some warmth back in on the face I'll be not in my hair and then in the jawline as well okay 
And then we are going to go in with some, the lipstick. So I'm using the Revolution Pro Satin Kiss Lip Liner in Cupcake. And what I like to do is colour the side. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to go in with Zodiac Spectrum Collection in the shade Cosma. Love this lipstick. Oh, my eyelashes come up. Gorgeous, gorgeous. We'll be right back. My eyelashes come off and I'll sort it out and come back. Okay, eyelashes back on. We have saved it. And then last but not least, we are going to put some of this on. Now, I've just noticed with the foundation, I don't know if it's the foundation or the primer, but literally, you can see all my pores here. Can you see? On my nose. So I don't know if that's because of the primer. So I don't know if it's like, oh, I don't know. But it just looks weird. Like it's just sat all there on that side of the nose. Fine on this side, but this side now. Oh my god, excuse me, you can hear the boys. Back is really hurting. Right then, so we're going to put a bit of highlighter on, which is, you know, after bronzer, it's highlighter, my fave. I'm going to go in using the Spectrum A A21 brush. And we're just going to apply and shine like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> How stunning is that? Someone ever say to you, you've put too much highlighter on? Tell them they are wrong. Because you can never have too much highlighter. I forgot to put bronzer on my side of my nose. So let's just go in with this brush here and contour that out a little bit. Okay, there. Okay, I've got some uh, blush on. So let's put on some blusher. And let's put this one on, it's quite nice and natural. It's from Pixie. I don't know if it's available anymore, okay? is the final look let me know down below what you think is this a glam look for you <laughs> it's definitely for me and can i just say i am no makeup artist so i'm just a mama winging it when it comes to all this so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you all on my next video bye